if we are going to build the wall, because everyone we read in the Bible, there is a spirit behind that verse. Are we together? Everyone you read in the Bible, there is a spirit that enables them, enables them to do whatever they did. And when we talk about them, we are invoking that spirit to be in action in us. When you are talking of Nehemiah, we are asking the Lord, will you help us to raise a generation that is able to build the walls that have been destroyed? Because time comes when we have to engage God and ask the very important questions about the structures of our spiritual life. Let me to just say, Nehemiah's of the 21st century. Do I have a witness here? You are saying, Lord, I want to be the one of them. Do I have a witness here? Yes. Do I have a witness here? Yes. yes. Time comes when you, make, you must make a decision to turn your life around for the glory of God. And I said yesterday, it doesn't matter the amount of prayer we can pray over you. Lay hands and put legs on you. Anoint you with oil from Nigeria and from Tanzania. Rebuke demons from Nama style, Nene Evangelism. Deal with you particularly. I tell you, it doesn't matter. It's until you come to a place and make a right decision. Yes. Life turns around at that decision. Yes. It's not about what we tell you. It's not about how we coerce you and preach to you. Jump over your head, lay hands on you, kick you left and right, and you roll say that the spirit of God is moving let me tell you, you would have never moved until you make a decision this Christianity where people think somebody can make for me a decision and my life change, forget it forget it will never work it just comes back to you and therefore the Nehemiahs of the 21st century let me introduce to you the four piece that Nehemiah took initiative in. Because you can never be a Nehemiah of the 21st century until you take the initiatives. And number one, pray for Jerusalem problem. Not sending prayer items. Pray for me. Brethren, you are sending prayer items to someone who has a lot of issues and they want to pray for themselves. So where is the priority? Nehemiah took the responsibility. He did not send a prayer item to Jerusalem and tell them, now nah, I'm about to pray. Pray, pray for me. No. The guy took the responsibility. Amen. That is P number one. Pray. Number two, planning the rebuilding project. You must sit down and calculate how you want to engage for your destiny. How you want to engage to restore the glory that might have been lost somewhere. How do you want to engage to shape up your destiny? How do you want to engage? It takes a plan. If it's a spiritual plan, you want to say, I think I need to plan my life. I have lessons from this time to this time. I can have one hour of prayer. I can have wake up early in the morning and seek the face of God. I can read the Bible this time. You must plan to rebuild the walls. It's not an issue. Even if we are being told compassion ministry is there to go for counseling, you must plan how also you can come out of the situation. You don't go to counseling and then everything they tell you, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> plan how to rebuild the walls. The four piece, number three, after planning, pursue the products. Pursue. Some of us are good in half done work. No wonder even assignments, projects you don't finish. <laughs> you have a spirit of doing things halfway. I don't know who gifted you in that. You can never finish anything. Never. You never begin anything and finish. If you start cooking, you can never finish anything. You can never finish anything. No wonder you are baptizing in your life, you're not making progress. And every now and then you have to defy your courses, refer to another time. Oh, I, 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 I'll finish next year. Why? Because I just want to go home and solve some issues. See, issues 
girlfriend that you watch, so you are hurting, so you are running away for one year, so you can come back when you are hit. <laughs> Don't ever sit and think things will work for you. Rebuilders must have an attitude to pursue. You remember the story of Joe, uh, the David in verse Samuel chapter 30, when the Lord tells him, if you have to restore what belongs to you, rise up and pursue. Tell your neighbor, pursue. Have, have an ability spirit. An ability spirit, you must pursue. Number four. Oh, that was the fourth one. Oh, persuade. Persuading. Nehemiah did not just sit there and relax. He went even to the king to persuade for his mission to come true. Some of us just said prayers. Father, you will do it. Father, do it for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, your hallelujah is bound to zero. Until you press God to persuade. Even if you need someone to pray with you, you must persuade a group to stand with you. Tell them, brethren, on this warfare, I cannot alone. Can you join me? In hands, let's pray. Things are not right in our home. Things are not right in my life. Pray with me. You must be ready to persuade. Some of us, our tongues are anointed with evil. When you talk, people run away. Because <laughs> nothing good comes out of your mouth. You only vomit out hate and negatives. Because how you? Seriously. And you want us to join you and support you? Already you have concluded you are going nowhere. Allow the Lord to use you so that you persuade. Have the grace to persuade. Nehemiah, a builder, he had to persuade until the king agreed with him for him to succeed. In rebuilding. Praise the Lord. Amen. Why is the 21st generation failing in rebuilding wars? It is seems easier to run from a challenge than to step out and take a risk. It's so easy for us to give up our mission. We are not ready to stand the risk. Stand out and be counted. Like men like uh, we call the one that destroyed them his father's altars. Gideon. The guy says, Time has come, somebody must stand out. Let me tell you, if you're going anywhere in life, you must stand out. If not, I tell you, life will push you down. You must stand out and be counted. In your family, if you are going to have a savior, somebody to help that family, somebody to give a future to that family, even in your own life, you must stand out. Life is not for cowards. You hear me? Yeah. Life is not for them and sit and wait for things to work. I challenge you, rise up to be counted in this life. If not, life will render you useless. With even your academics, you just become useless. And even those who never stepped where you step, they start saying, Fight a gun. Step out and take what? A risk. Why do we run away in rebuilding the walls? Some few reasons. We are afraid of keeping commitments. We are afraid of keeping commitments. That's why you don't want to commit yourself to do anything. So you become just lukewarm. You no, know, we're not Christian. Number two, the reasons, no sense of security. You are always scared of nothing. Scared, fearful of taking an initiative and you sit there and think things will work for you. It will never. Low sense of security. Number three, because I want to go to what I wanted to share. We suspect we might find 
greener pastures somewhere else. You see these people who are always living in fantasy. You know God will do it. Hallelujah. <laughs> I can see America coming my way. Let me tell you, you'll wait. You'll wait America to come. America is in a geographical location. The other side of the world. It will never come in Kenya. Live fantasizing. Don't live in a deception. Life is real. <laughs> I'm a pastor. I tell you, life is real. Some of us, we expend time and energy only for personal gain. If it's not profiting me, I'm not engaged. If Nehemiah was like that, the walls would never be built. Personal gain. I can only lead worship. I can only be on a backup if I told that side I'm leading. Anali Kuroga. That you can only come here when you are leading. That day is when you have come. That week you are practicing. Hey, personal gain. You can only appear so that you are when you want to do something or you have been put in a program. Let me tell you, you are expending time and energy only for personal gain. You can never rise up to rebuild the walls. Our past affects our trust in God. Some of us, our interest of rebuilding the wall is because we have packages of the past. I was raped. I was abused. I came from an abusive family. Do you know what? I don't trust men. I don't trust them. It affects your trust in God. Number five, we are lazy and unmotivated. Some people at your age, you still sleep until 10 a.m. At your age. At 10 a.m. Until the sun comes through the window. You start sweating. It's when you get, wow, wow, wow. 10 a.m. at your age. Lazy and unmotivated. Somebody must come and say, talk, 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 talk. Yeah, I now. Yeah, I This is <laughs> we are talking of age 18 to 24 behaving like grandfathers of 85 and 90. And these are the guys who we are saying we are banging on, they will develop, up, they will help us, this country. Forget, you can never rebuild the wall if you are lazy and unmotivated in life. Lazy people can never rebuild any walls. Ask your neighbor, what do you wake up? <laughs> okay, okay, I didn't say you tell them, I just say ask. The problem is you're explaining again. Don't say anything. But I want to say this, life is not waiting for lazy people. Life is not waiting for lazy people. One better go with one. That is a fake life. If he cannot be smart now, what about in marriage and he has married you? He will be marrying a maid to wash. Okay, and then I'm going to tell you that I'm going to be a That's the work you'll be doing. Lazy and unmotivated, they can never rise up to repeal the walls. Six. We fear the risk of being rejected. The people who feel like, does it mean what you're doing on Najifanya? Will people feel like I'm um, Nikirere? <laughs> Let me tell you, it doesn't matter what they think about. Uh, 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 if I've seen what God wants me to do, yes, I'll go for it. Yes. Because my destiny is not in bearing man's heart. Oh, yes. My destiny is in God. And he said me, Ongea Utalala. But I'll seek my God. Why? What you tell me is secondary. What God has told me is primary. I'll go by what God says, but not what man says. I'll wake up three in the morning and seek the Lord. Call me a prayer machine, but I'm seeking the Lord. I'll go for Bible study to seek the Lord. I'll go for crusade and preach the gospel. Why? I have discovered why. Some of you are 
to think that when I finish my song, I'm quite very serious. <laughs> Life is very serious the day you are born. Yes. The day you came out, if you came out and you cried, that is how life is. Because already you faced pain before you came out. And if you don't cry, what do they do? Ah, cry! This is how life is. That is how serious life is. And I know every one of you, every one of you cried. Because you came to face life. So don't leave you deception. Responding and saying, you know, things will be okay. Where? They must be okay now. I tell somebody you are living now, not tomorrow. Now. <laughs> Another thing is, we don't want to lose our freedom. We have an area that we have developed, a certain freedom in our lives. We don't want anybody to encroach on that freedom. We want to live in that freedom. And it's a deception because what you are calling freedom is bondage in itself. We fear being different from others. You must also be like others. Yeah, to be accepted. Lastly, we don't really know who we are. There are people who don't know who they are. That's why you can even as a young man, because you are wondering, am I a man? You don't know. And you can even go to a saloon and play to your head. Because you don't know exactly who you are. You don't know, ask the neighbor, do you know who you are? <laughs> I'll finish by talking on qualities of the 21st, the memory of the 21st century. Qualities, number one, they must know who they are. You must know who you are. Desire is the starting point of all achievement. Desire is the starting point of all achievement. What is the desire of your heart? Do you know who you are and who, what the Lord has called you to be? Seek to know what is my assignment in life. That is how you start rebuilding the walls. Seek to know what is my assignment in life. Number two, they push themselves to act. Is self-motivated. Life is self-motivated. Some of you want others to motivate us. Let me tell you, if you wait men to motivate you, they will take you into their own programs. Yes. Are we together? Yes. They will dictate you today, they will dictate you tomorrow, and they will steal your success from you and say, if it was not me, you would have never made it. If it was not me, where would you be today? You become a prisoner. And even some of us, people buy favors from us because we sought favors from them. And they will tell you, for you to pass this cut, can we take coffee in the midnight? I wonder which coffee is taken at midnight. Seriously? At midnight? You are taking coffee so that you can pass a cut. When you allow people to motivate you, let me tell you, they will take advantage over you. People who are walls rebuilder, they must ask, take initiative, rise up and say, in the name of the Lord, I'll do it. Paul says that I do it not by my own strength, but Christ will give them his strength. Whatever you do in the Lord, I tell you, glory goes back to him. God does not want to share his glory with you, someone else. Seek the Lord and let the Lord receive the glory of what he has done in your life. At first time I acted alone. There are times you have just to rise alone. Are we together? Don't force me to see what I'm not seeing. You know there are people they must want, they must force you to see. Are you seeing? What I'm seeing? Are you feeling? It is only you in the initial stage of your life that you are supposed to rise up and you are the only one who has seen what God has for you. Before you come to us, have you seen what God has for you? Nehemiah began alone before he went to other people. World builders, you must learn to act. Three, 
they take more risks. They take more risks. Fear is their gift. They cannot risk anything. With them, they always play fair game. They don't say they don't want to score any goal. They play and I will take you for about what you were question, that you were mungu, what you do. Let me tell you, risk takers step into their lives, walk into their destiny. If you are not a risk taker, you are going nowhere. Kuna wengine kuna mtu ni msani, lakini aise anza kuimba, anaimba za wengine. They are not risk takers. Risk takers, you can even tell, record your own sound and go out and say, you know what, I'll produce a CD. Can you listen to Nani your phone? Risk takers step into their destiny. If you're not a risk taker, forget about life. Even, not you know that what pastors are being a pastor, see risk taker. You could say that you're shit they don't want to risk when other people in campus they are now even paying their own school fees they are risk takers they came to campus they discovered there is need some of them even plating people other gas air in the, in the hostels making money some of us every evening phone call daddy 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 <laughs> my phone is almost going and the battery is almost done please send to my neighbor this is the number Tell me. if you don't begin life now after campus life does not begin after campus you will be miserable amen oh hallelujah amen. you will be miserable i challenge you in the name of the lord whatever god has put in you rise up and risk do something that somebody else has never done amen. Amen. hallelujah because i had money in our secondary school he just started making bible markers and selling temple saturday i'm going to cut Somebody has risked to use his pocket money to develop something or to bring up an idea and is making money out of it. But those who are, <laughs> let me tell you, you can begin living from here. First years who have joined it, the more you are joining in other places, you can still even take land. I know this place. Do you teach agriculture? Is it here? Go to Naro. Chukua yaka flani za shamba, panda ngano, andiwa hindi sa first year. Pani muna fundisho, minataka kwa apply, wapi isi vitu. Anza saa hii, wakati ume fundisho introduction to agriculture, apply it. Take risk. You cannot rebuild your economic status by sitting and crying and biting the spirit of poverty. <laughs> poverty arrest. Poverty I bind you. Poverty I take authority over you. I bind you. I throw you to Mwembe. Let me tell you, it will never go. The way out of your situation, you must be ready to risk. Praise the Lord. Nehemiah stood, took some major risks as he got permission to go, to go get wood and to survey the job. Number four, they make more mistakes. Rebuilders make mistakes. The problem we have with Christians, they don't want to make any mistake. They don't want, they want to have a clean page. Let me tell you, life has a way of also painting you on a wrong side. Yeah. Anything. Mr. Nagi Shida Nawat, have you ever met those two? Yes. Yeah. issues <laughs> Nawat to me. Muniache, mimi bile nilikuja hii campus, mwache kutena nilumi ino. Muniache. Life, you must, you make mistakes. Sometimes you want to be a preacher, and you are given up. 
He has you have given opportunity to say, ah, the answer means we share now. Lunch, lunch, I must be share now in glory. Take it. Tell them you have given me. It's not by might, not by power. It will be. Chukwa, end up after us of Mungu. And your Mungu nipe mandiko. Kuja nayo, fungwa bibilia. Utafanya makosa bibi tatu. Lakini kesho itendele kwa bora. Are we together? Yes. Even if you speak some Bible's quote that are not there, the Bible says God helps those who live themselves. And the layer, and the layer, we are encouraging you. You must make mistakes to get where you want to go. If you are going to rebuild the walls of your life, you must learn to make mistakes. Are we together? Those who have been given leadership, think out of the box. Think out of the box. You have not been given leadership to come and continue the, the, the mistakes we did not want to yes. No, you must jump out of that and do something unique for the glory of God. What will you be remembered for? Yes. Nehemiah wasn't afraid to mobilize men who are even professional contractors or soldiers to build and fight. Those are mistakes. How do you get people not contractors and tell them we want to build walls? And even they are not traders and army. And you tell them now we must fight. That is risk and that is mistake. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. They go with their gifts. What gift do you have? Let me tell you. Continuing to sit on that seat and doing nothing is just like killing your own, your own destiny. You are in Christian Union. This is the fourth year. You have never led anything. Even a prayer. When they give you right now this microphone to pray, you start sweating. And there will be fellowship between your knees. Fellowship is going on. For the year, he cannot pray. He feels like going to answer call somewhere. Yes, for the year. Seriously? With all preachers who visit this campus, you are still like this. Watch we are home. Watch we are Always postponing. You can never impugn the walls until you know God has gifted you. Are we together? And there's no special gift. There's no greater gift. Every gift God has ordained for his purpose. Go to hospitality, sir. That is a gift. Go to ushering, sir. That is a gift. Go to security, sir. That is a gift. Go to media, sir. That is a gift. Join worship, sir. That is a gift. Go outside there. Do something for the Lord. Amen. I just said this afternoon in our church. God does not call the lazy. Forget. God calls for those who are busy. Even when Jesus was looking for fishers of men, he did not go on the street and say, all those people are idle, come. <laughs> the Bible was very, it's very crisis. He went for fishers of fishermen and turned them to be fishers of men. You'll be surprised there will be no heaven for you. Why? Because you did zero. But I gave you a Ask your neighbor and get you. You know, there are them that think they will sneak in heaven. Nothing like sneaking. Jesus is the door. Jesus is the door. Know what he has called you to do to rebuild the walls. You are still young, you can do better than what you are doing today. I encourage you, as the year comes to a close, rise up and serve the Lord. Know what God has gifted you to engage. Yeah. Some of us come from the choir background. Which of our pastor will be sitting on the top of one's choir? Na robes. Na five robes on Sunday. It is your gift. Serve passion. It's your gift. Don't sit there and say, these people don't do what we do in our church. This church is not specifically for denomination. It is for all of us. If you are here and you come from a Catholic background, in your choir, the must connect with God in the place of service. If you are not serving the Lord, you 
who are not a rebuilder. Serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. Yeah. Don't sit there and Every Sunday is you to receive. You're always on the receiving end. <laughs> and you're so critical. By the way, those people are very critical in church. Those people are gifted. Only that they don't know they have been gifted in that area. If you are so critical on music, just leave them. That's your area of calling. Yes, if you're so critical on ushering, don't wait for anybody else to give you a white tie to join. Just join it. <laughs> the builders of the walls, they must be men and women who are willing to rise up from their comfort zones, take risk, and see what the Lord will do. And I want to pray this night, even as we come to conclusion, that may God give you grace to rise up again. It doesn't matter what you have gone through in life. Some of us, you may be up in orphaned. Some of us, you may not have been taken care of. You wonder what type of a family I was born in. What a type of a family that I do I have. What a type of people that have come in my life. I encourage you in the name of the Lord. Rise up and rebuild your walls. You have a future. By the way, you are so privileged. God has opened a door. You are in a campus. That is already a sign of greatness. God is telling you, I've set you apart for greatness. Don't compromise and swallow that opportunity. Rise up and see what the Lord will do. I encourage us in the name of the Lord. Rise up as a person. Seek the Lord. Call on Him. Seek His face. Pray. Go to Bible study and see what the Lord will do. Amen. And see what the Lord will do. Amen. Tell you, future is not automatic. Future is, future is a process. You must engage. You must engage. Rise up and be in the mind of the 21st century. How do you come to a campus like this? And we are here and we see all morals decay in the campus. All of us come and sometimes we are fearful of devil worshippers. Even right now there is a street you don't walk. There's this idea. And when you walk on a camp on a beach and a dance because you know the worship thing is there. Rama kaba rama kaba. No 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 no. Let me let me. 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 Wengineni unatoka hapa bila kusalamia visi. Una muona tu kwa video. Ah, let me tell you. To review the words, you must be ready to challenge authority. Ah, how can we do that? You must be ready to rise up and say, Mr. Visi, we, are, we need an appointment with you. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. We need an appointment with you. Who are you? We are men and women of God on this campus. Amen. I may seem to be like a student, but I'm not a student. I'm talking out as the one sent of the Lord. And we have a message of the Lord to you. Amen. We shall no longer go in, we shall not continue sponsoring our Lord programs. From today, hear me, Mr. BC, you must learn to give to the Lord. <laughs> Mission. But we, 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 we do us of the world. Do you remember I said they must be risk takers? <laughs> Go to them. Tell them we need a meeting with you. We must engage. Rebuilders of the world, you must engage. And I want to pray those who are taking on leadership, do something that you will be remembered for. Are we together? Do something that you will be remembered for. We must be built. in our families. Let me tell you, God is looking unto you to bring the change that is desirable in your family. Rise up and rebuild the walls. Don't fear, for the Lord is with you. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord be on our side. Who shall be against us? Do you hear that statement? The Lord be on my side. 
who shall be against us. It doesn't matter, come there, that someone has taken hold of. If the Lord be with me, who shall be against me? It doesn't matter the witch doctors and the society where you came from. If the Lord be with you, who shall be against you? Who shall be? Eh? Why chat and only mama who shall be? Who shall be against me? Who shall be against me? Who shall be against me? Who shall be Who shall be against me? 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 In our place, nobody went to university, but I'm already in university. I'm a world rebuilder. Education standards in our family. I'm the world rebuilder. I'm going to have a own TV break. You talk about one of my new men, but I must come after this canvas. You are the world rebuilder. People will admire your home again. People will celebrate you again. People will come for your graduation. Hallelujah. graduation certificate course. what the Lord will do for you. Oh. You don't know who you are. Some of you think you are a mystery. Just because you are born early. Now mama wana mkumbosh. Who did you talk about? 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 Rise up. Have the Nehemiah spirit. And go for what God has ordained for you. Go for it. Go for it. By the way, if you purpose, those who are joining first year, watch out for the fourth year, watch out for the fourth year. Watch out for the second class. 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 Second honor, a first honor, one of the first honor. Watch out for the second class. 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 Relative so kind of kiri aja itu. Wana moja, wana moja apa kau ni dah punya ice cream kule ini. Wakilu deh, aku bimbing fikir nine hundred. One thousand and one. Bicara macam ni. Oh, the story must change. Are we together? The story must change. We are turning ourselves to rebuilders of our academic standards, rebuilders of our morals. Remember this, I tell you when I'm going to be kufieka, you can rise up again and rebuild your morals. I tell you when I'm going to be kufieka, you can rise up again and rebuild your morals. You know me, I'll never be a virgin. It's not within your power to destroy your virginity. Trust on God. Come on, go and chase the EPA. Couple of more coke. Time comes in life that you must trust God to rebuild the walls, so that when that guy finds you, he finds something that you will be proud of. Yes, yeah. When that lady finds you, he finds a guy who doesn't know. Fifty-one styles, ajao. Fifty-one styles, only two years ago. Fifty-one styles. Go honeymoon. Fifty-one styles. We were the best. We were the best. You must rise up to rebuild your morals. Are we together? Tell your neighbor it doesn't matter what I was yesterday, but today I purpose. This is free, we can preach until morning, but we have to cross. Nehemiah of 21st century. They shall not be ashamed of themselves. They shall not be ashamed of themselves. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Have you ever had sin I know who I am. I know who I am. I know who I am.
Nikitajia filimu ila Mwambia sasa I know who I am. You can never confuse me. I know who I am. I am the pure, the walls of your life. I shall be without shame. I am the pure, the walls of your life. Jesus, I don't know about you, but this one touches even my life.